He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone. It's Don Bain, the Gadget Professor, coming to you live, and of course, in color from our Scottsdale, Arizona studio. Today, I'm going to review an app that's absolutely free. It's called Balaboka. Balaboka. And if you go to the Balaboka website, uh, which is at uh, www.cross plus dash a.com just look up balaboka and you will find this app totally free and what it is is it's a text-to-speech app sometimes these text-to-speech apps are called TTS what this program will do is it will install voices on your computer and uh, it only comes with one voice however if you scroll down on the Babaloka site you will see that uh, it gives you another voice uh, or it gives you Greek Chinese, whatever you want. Also, you can search the internet for those types of voice files and download them. And there are a lot of them that are available on the internet for no cost whatsoever. So the program is quite simple. It loads in seconds. And it really does a nice job of converting any written text to speech. Well, why would you want that? Well, a couple things. One, if you ever have a book and you want to make it an audio book and you're in the car or going on a trip or whatever or you're just trying to go to bed and you want it read to you you can just literally cut and paste this into Balboca and it will do that for you and you have the ability to select the voice there's also some really cool adjustments that you can make we'll take a look at the program this is what it looks like installed and as you can see it's very similar to a word processor and all I have done now is just typed in the words hello everyone my name is Don Bain and I am the Gadget Professor. Stay tuned for this week's Gadget Professor show. So I have selected right here the ScanSoft Emily voice. And I actually have two voices here. I have Emily and I have Anna. So first we'll listen to Emily. And all you're going to do is just press the play button or just hit the F5 key. That's what I'm going to do now. And you will actually hear this read to you. Hello, everyone. My name is Don Bain, and I'm the Gadget Professor. Stay tuned for this week's Gadget Professor show. So it's that simple. If you want to change the voice, uh, you just go up to this drop-down menu, and any voice that you have loaded in there, whatever the language may be, you click it, and uh, that's about all there is. We'll hit F5 again, and it will read it in a different voice. Hello, everyone. My name is Don Payne, and I am the Gadget Professor. Stay tuned for this week's Gadget Professor show. Now, you can do some pretty cool things with this. You could change the rate. You could change the pitch, you could change the volume. They're all very easily accessible. And what I'll do is I'm just going to, uh, I'm going to change the, uh, the pitch. I'm going to go, right now it's at zero, you heard zero, and now I'm going to put it up to a nine, and you'll actually hear the difference. So here we go. Hello, everyone. My name is Don Payne, and I am a gadget professor. Stay tuned for this week's Gadget Professor show. So this program is nice in the sense that it does give you the ability to change the pitch, to change... Uh, uh, the rate and uh, you can play around with that to see what sounds good for you. The other thing that's really cool about this is I'm just going to go to a, a CNN website just randomly. I'm actually going to uh, uh, just literally cut and paste uh, a piece of uh, uh, type here. So I'm going to control C that and we'll go back into the application and I'm just going to uh, literally cut and paste it. There you go. I will start from here and now uh, I'm actually going to have the news read to me, which is kind of neat when you think about it. iPad and Mac customers experienced problems when launching Apple's built-in internet browser. The glitch lasted at least seven hours. Apple said the Safari issue had been fixed by around 10.45 paymeters Eastern Time. It did not comment on the cause of the outage. Now, the text-to-speech apps are a lot of fun to use. This app happens to be free. Sometimes your computers actually come with uh, text-to-speech actually loaded on it with a variety of voices. So it doesn't really matter whether you're on the Mac platform or you're on the PC platform. Uh, you can still get text-to-speech. I hope you enjoyed today's show. If you want to follow me, please subscribe below to my YouTube channel. This is Don Bain, The Gadget Professor. 
The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.